Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the good old Outer world. So, last time we boarded the Hope, and now we must make a decision as to what we're going to do with the Hope. So, before we do anything on a terminal, let us double check, and actually, um, wow, level 27. You know who could use that? I love, wait, that's level 19. He has something level 22, so Parvati, no more grenade launcher, you're just going to burn people. Level 21. It's time for upgrades for some of our people. Ooh, Pulse Hammer Gold. Yeah, there you go, my friends. My partners in crime, I really don't care about the... Uh, maybe I do care about this. Ooh. Level 28. Level 24. 20, 211 damage, 475. DPS. DPS. Plasma Rifle. Plasma Carbine. It's a carbine. Carbine. So, I don't really care about it. Um, just get rid of that. We got quite a few weapon parts. We could sell this. We might sell that. Get rid of that stuff. Don't want to be weighed down by anything. But really, the reason we're here, besides scrapping some stuff, is to check out the journal. Let's see, level 16, and then level 4 isn't cutting it. So, kept secret but not forgotten. Use Skip the hope. And let's do that. Status. Auxiliary, auxiliary. Continue. Functions. Logs. Open the effing door, Will. No, you're killing us. You Better you than the colonists. Hmm. I'm also joined here by my cat, Binky. You okay? You alright? Okay. And then last one. Oh, Binky's funny. Comms. Uh, patch Ada through. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Um, let's discuss my options. Certainly. You may skip the Hope to Tartarus, as you were instructed to by the adjutant. What if I want to skip the Hope to Terra 2 instead? Doing so would bring the Hope within close proximity of Phineas Wells' orbital lab, allowing him to access the colonists frozen within. Your act would be immediately noticed across Terra 2, as the colony ship Hope abruptly enters into the planet's rings. Let me take care of something. Wait, are you leaving me with the Hope's computer? You have no idea what it's like to converse with him. Imagine. Simulate another organic jostling your circuits when he tries to... I mean, I'll be ready when you are, Captain. <laughs> she has kind of a personality, huh? I wanted to see if there's any other options, so... <sighs> where do we send the hope? That's really the question. Where do we... Actually... Oopsie, my bad. I keep pressing escape to get to that. Here. Where do we send the hope? Skip the hope to Terra 2, or Sophia can't skip the hope to Tartarus. Uh, can I only skip it once? You know what? Are you sufficiently prepared yeah. for the task at hand, Captain? Come on, Bean. Are we doing this now? Jeez, Ada. I'm ready to skip the, the hope. Tell me, Ada, am I really doing the right thing? Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm, our consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Well, alright, well, let's skip it. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. It's like... And also hmm. potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Uh, I'm not concerned about killing an entire planet. Oh god, do I do Terra 2 or Tartarus? If I say Terra, if I go to Terra 2, I can always say that uh, it was out of my control. I made a miscalculation, so I want to help Phineas out as much as he can because he basically saved our lives, and I kind of owe my life to him. And I'll play this game again sometime. Trust me, I'll play it with a different t type of play style in the next one. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Um, I'm skipping it myself. Let's try that. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. 
If we're meant to make it, we will. No use worrying otherwise. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not smart enough. You're right. This is too complex. You do it. Admitting a deficit. My, you never cease to amaze me, Captain. Not smart enough. Skipping the hub in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are full. <laughs> Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. I better hold on to my binky. Oh, did I level up? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hope looks pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Looks pretty cool. Boom. Oh. It worked. Oh. Oh, good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much uh -oh. to Phineas Wells. But he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. We're alive! We made it! I... Uh, never had any doubts. Cool. Is there anything else we can do on the terminal? Status? Alright, well, we do have... A few more skills to put in. Um... Let's see. Sneak. Well, we were trying to do science to a degree. Even though I really want a more of a playthrough of intelligence. I did say I do intelligence as a playthrough, but science. Eh. Adept. Corrosion damage. Unray damage. That's okay. Mm, engineering's pretty good. Well, you know what? I'm still doing intelligence playthrough. Playthrough, so... Is a master 100 better? Or getting at least lie up to 80? Mechanical scramble. Chance. Uh, let's do it. I'm gonna max it out. If I can. Perks. Hmm. That's uh, kind of boom headshot splash damage. Your next attack after killing, killing an enemy is a guaranteed crit hit, which sounds really good. Detection radius of enemies. Speed, health restored per kill. That's not bad. Per kill, stuff restored. Um, how about we choose, how about some crit? Get some more crit damage, cool. Journal, okay, so he's not responding. So that's, that's really, really not good. Do I have to kill the people in here? They, wait, corporate commander, they're dead. Um. Error. There you go. Group data not found. Identify yourself. Um, I was in one of the pods. This statement is false. If you're experiencing errors, I should take you to a mechanical engineer. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. You said error twice. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Look at all these dead guys. Sentry. Oh, he got jabbed to something hard. Cool. Um. Oh, we were on the bridge. That's right. Time to go back down to Phineas's lab. I don't know what's happened. This might be the last video. This might not be. So, wait. Oh, that was the one upstairs. This, there's another one. We killed that mega sprat down there. All right. Well then.
Don't mind me, I'm just a normal person. Uh, this is my ship. Alright, you barely have just enough shield proof stuff to get through. Oh. Felt anything like that. I'm gonna need a minute. You betcha. Oh. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get to Phineas. Um it's over this way. Cool. It's a really big ship. Oh wait. Did I go the wrong way? Maybe I am, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Whoops! I hope not too much bad stuff has happened to Phineas. Hope he's still there. Hope he doesn't betray me. That wouldn't be cool. I don't know why he would betray me. There's nothing really in it for him. Alright. Massive passenger ships can take up to a decade to complete a trip. Captain, I am res Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... Uh oh. It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Um. Well. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the groundbreaker and get a couple of drinks and stuff with uh, Parvati. So, just you know, natural things. We have got other plans. arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? I want to see what happened to Phineas. We still haven't found the sixth companion, but I'm not really interested. He's probably on Scylla. All right. It's fairly peaceful so far. Might need a gun. Might need three other guns and two companions, but you know, I never know. Don't kill bubbles. Whatever happens. Hello. Will you shoot me? You will. I'm taking Henry damage. Oh, that does not feel good. Nice. Oh, Phineas is gone. Very nice. They're all dead. Pick up everything they got. They might actually have some weapons we might be able to use. Uh, that's what I got from the Vicar. Maybe not. Armor 69. Nice. Uh, I'm using level 36. 69. 69 helmet. 54. Look at that. 92. Holy cow. Yeah, with, what, with what these guys are using, I'm definitely going to need more armor. You have 38, 54, 36. That's what was I was using. 69. Yeah, throw that on there. Took her max. 26. 34. 69. Nice. 36. Uh, 42 or uh, 69 it is. Or at least Bubbles is still alive. Corporate commanders. Some mines. or some mines that went off. Maybe they didn't go off. Well, before we're done here, is there anything I can pick up? Maybe not. Oh, I need more hack. No! Last, last will and testament? God dang it. Nice and green. This is his little area. Huh. He's 
got ammo all over the place. He's got a Finn's Force. What is that? Ooh, level 26. Fun times barrel. Well, let's see. So that's a long gun. Maybe try that little doohickey out. I also got that science weapon. Nicely done. Pulse hammer gold, nice. Sorry, Phineas, I don't know if you're ever coming back, so I might need this. Give it to her. Here we are. I wonder what this thing does. Oh, wait. Um, How do I get into there? Is there... Is there anything I can pick up, maybe? Or... Please present login password. I have no idea. What the heck? Transmission, corporate pigs. Search his lab for info. Search the area. I have no idea where it is. Usually it's just on the map where... Oh, the sissy pig. Oh, there it is. Found it. Um, if you were seeing the screen, he's been kidnapped and properly incarcerated. If I've not been executed for charges, presumably the latter to finish his work. To the icy depths of Aether, if this is Mr. Mocha Lover, then an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from this terminal and claim its contents immediately. Personal files. Must delete entries from ter terminal memory. First entry. The Hope made it to Halcyon after all, after 25 years too late. Mm. Alright, second entry. 113 seconds. Most subjects last 93 seconds. A screaming, huh? My 12th subject to die. Oof. Final entry. What, the board finally discovered what he'd done and set their headhunters to track him down. He has been a murderer, turned myself into the board. He's not going to do that, though. Return to root. Open panel. Ah. Kept secret, but not forgotten. The nav key. Cool, well, it looks like we got a place to go. Poor Phineas, he's... What's that? Subject may be unstable. Official arrest receipt. Well, at least Bubbles is still alive. At least we still got one sissy pig. Oh boy. Well, if it looks like we're going to kill everyone on Tartarus, probably. Maybe it's unfortunate that I killed everyone in Edgewater, too. But, oh well. Phineas has more answers than, than what everyone else probably has. And he knows way more than I do. Alright, Bink. Bink right now is taking a nap on my chair, and he's enjoying it. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet... I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Uh-oh. More cutscenes. So, Phineas got himself taken to Tartarus. That's usually a one-way trip. And here we are, entertaining the notion of busting him out. That's insane. And likely a hell of a lot of fun. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. And what's so bad about it? Ornery board goons and one-ply toilet paper for oh, starters. Oh, God, one-ply? But I hear their brainwashing program's state-of-the-art, so I guess you get used to it. But since no one ever makes it out, this is all just speculation. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. 
Trust me, I know. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. <laughs> what do you all think about this? I don't care what you think. We're gonna go get him. Um, strap in, boys we don't make and it, girls. At least it'll be a great story. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Alright, so... We're gonna go in, kill all the guards, free all the prisoners who don't want to kill us, and... Have a good time. Nothing like having a good time, am I right? To Tartarus. You're about to enter the assault uh, on Tartarus and determine the fate of the Halcyon colony. Is there anything I want to do before I go to prison? Man, I hope someone asks me that question if I ever go to prison. But, uh, sure, let's go ahead. I've, uh, sure, I guess I'll save. There, here are all my saves, manual saves. Uh, cool. There's not really much else for me to really choose. This looks like an ammo pickup from Ratchet and Clank. Whatever. We have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Oh, I hope so. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Know anything about Tartarus? Resident count is as follows: three thousand seventy-one. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows: one thousand six hundred eighty-four. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. Hmm. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. We're going to take some mittens. I also ask that you leave your captain's ID with me in the event that you do not return. Um, you promise not to leave without me, right? I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Wait, this isn't Terra 2? My mistake. Your ship is not permitted to leave until you remit payment for your fines and submit yourself to execution. Only after your smoking corpse is thrown from an airlock will we lift the lockdown on your spacecraft. Okay. Captain, I would not recommend this course of action. Um, let's see. Let's do Intimidate. You whole head. Don't you know who I am? Huh? Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. I just couldn't see you clearly before. Screen's on the fritz. Damn thing. But for the record, now that I hear you, I totally recognize you. Totally. You're, um, you, of course. Obviously. Anyway, Tartar Stalking Authority signing off. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. What? Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind Wait, to that. Just the Groundbreaker. have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external cartridge. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. Why is a groundbreaker here? And you know what? I'll be right back. And we're back, everybody. Thank you for joining me back here, even though you guys never left. Um, I'll be honest. I play this a little bit. And, uh... Oh. Jun is helping us. Screw my desires. I'm killing everyone here. There shall be no mercy. Also, uh, like I tr was trying to say, I did play this already a little bit, but I'll be honest, I died because I tried to kill everybody and they were very difficult to kill. Uh, mostly because this N-Ray damage stuff, it's actually pretty powerful against me, so uh, I'm going to be a little bit more careful about what I do. Go, Victor Max, go. Strick him. Also, before I forget, we have health stuff, we have another slot, and I shall put in, not some smokes, we got some wrapped on meat. A health, please. 
So is there anything that gives me more health? Regen? I like the health regen. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Vicar Max could use a little bit more health right now. Please, thank you. Eh, the board doesn't like me, but do I really care? No. This stuff is harsh to use on the body. Quite harsh. Nice, that guy's gone. Energy cells, combat robots are dead. Oh, hello. Why you do that to me? Hello, anybody? No? Cool. Examine. Today's password from the column is one, a conde. Take everything that isn't nailed down. Because I will totally be able to use this stuff quickly or soon. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Nice. Anything on this side? Nope. Oh, I'll take that though. Oh, pick the lock. Oh, this is a sneaky way in if you really want to go down the sneaky way. But I'm not here to sneak. I'm here to destroy. Entering the labyrinth is easy part. Making it back out. I'm still trusting your plan on that one, Captain. Wait, we have a plan? I don't know about a plan, man. I'm just here for the good times. All right, Bink. Bink's still sleeping on my chair. Before we do anything else, we got all this stuff. Armor-wise, 92, 69, nice. Um, honestly, we just break down a lot of the stuff. It, we don't really need it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I could sell it, but I don't think I'm going to need have that much of a need for money very soon. Weaponry, you keep that, you keep that, and get rid of this. Yeah, I could sell it, but whatever, I don't really care. Oh, that's not bad, but whatever. Cool. I suppose it would be too late to back out now, huh? Fear not, Captain. I'll watch your back. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. You know, I said I wasn't gonna use this, but uh. Nice one! You bet it was nice. Oh, good job, Parvati. That's one below there. Getting hit. That's the last of them. Uh, my goal here is to kill everyone. There will be no survivors with this. You know it. Don't want to take too many hits. Oh, there goes Vicar Max. There goes both of them. Just in case, I'm gonna help them out. I'm missing most of my shots. Alright. Oh, hello. Not bad. Yeah, this damage still doesn't. This is. The end damage stuff is very confusing. Come on, can I, can I not hop? There we go. Of course I got hops. Of course I do. Cool. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Does some. Reputation decreased. That's only if I care about my reputation with them now. Well, looks like we gotta go back and uh, deal a little bit of damage. Maybe heal ourselves so that our allies can do some damage. Oh, that's Vicar Max. Don't want to keep Vicar Max. Heal ourselves. Heal uh, Parvati maybe a little bit. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, that's kind of a dead end. Yeah, his gun ain't doing very much damage. Um, gonna need a little bit more health. A 
little bit more. So, great. Killed an enemy. Nice. Interesting. They got medical drones, huh? my allies are back alive. And we got some more skills to use. Not bad. Better than what I did last time when you didn't see me doing this. Um, we're going to go straight on up with this. Max that baby out. Alright, anyone else we can still kill and have a good time doing so? Of course. Anybody else we need to gas? Obviously. That everybody? Hmm, that might be. Alright, not bad, not bad. UDL. And we got plenty of ammo still. Oh, let's do in the other room first before we move on here. Any supplies, just in case. You never know when you might need a few more bits. No, this looks like a sneaking platforming section, so... Oh! Armor parts. Excuse me, I don't want to die here. Eh. We can save those guys for later, maybe. Oh! Now this is what I'm talking about. Vending machines. Workbench. Actually, I really want to use the workbench. Um, let's modify... Oh no, I want to actually install stuff, but maybe I can't modify stuff. Oh, the flamethrower. Eh, it doesn't matter, sure, why not? Ammo supply. Plasma. Screw it, we'll do it. What about melee stuff? Sure, I don't think we're coming back from this, so I'm really okay with just using whatever we got. Um, No, you'd have pretty much everything I can put on you. Repair? Yeah, might as well. Armor-wise, sure. Don't need to do that tinker. I like this. It cost me 69 bits. That's fine. Just keep increasing the damage on this bad boy. We got plenty of money. Oh, can no longer tinker things above level five. Increase your character level to tinker the item. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. No. More armor, sure. I like being very armorful. I don't. Where do these bits even go? I don't understand. Sure, I've got over fifty thousand bits, so I can just burn through all these really nicely. Nice. Ninety-two armor. Break down. Uh, yeah, I might as well break it down. That'd be fine too, I guess. That's cool. Anything we can sell? Oh, 35% discount? That's nice. We just broke everything down. Get rid of our junk. Uh, healing stuff? If I bought this... Uh, I bought... There's only one I could buy. Whatever. Transition to the pit. Uh, anthracillin. Good for all that ails you. Alright, can I kill anybody else? Yes, I can. Holy crap, this is nice. Of course, when you upgrade anything five times, it should be pretty decent. Oh, I'm sorry, you're only a recruit, but... Pretty good armor, we can be protected relatively as well from headshots. Alright, you hit me, you die. You, 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 you will literally evaporate. I have to pick up a toss ball card, I think. Yeah. 
Nice. That's kind of the last of them. Let's heal up our crew a little bit more. Tactical shotgun three. Not bad. Yeah, you better cower in fear. Sure, where the body went. Whatever. Examine. Okay, manifests. Alright. Oh, let's, I guess we could pick it. It probably just opens up on the other side. It doesn't even really matter. I just want to kill everybody here, so. Terminal. Access storage manifest. Dimethyl sulfoxide canisters. Records. Alright. Everything that isn't nailed down, and we must continue executing things to the elevator. I guess we could have gone down and snuck around, but I'm not about sneaking around. I wanted to use dialogue skills, but uh, we ain't doing much talking here. Either way. Alright, MSI. Sanjar. speeches, but the captain needs our help. So get in there and all right, come on, Sanjar. I really feel bad about killing Edgewater now. But oh well. Oh, yeah. Give me that end ray damage. Where is that guy? I'm not going to leave any survivors. Uh, I and mean, I left some survivors earlier, but those are for people to tell the story of. The unreliable crew. Not bad. If I was aiming, I could probably hit him. Nice. A little bit of damage here and there, whatever. I wonder if they could have any like mega boss at the end. Door? Door. Let's go this way. Ah, storage. Explosives. Another way we could potentially go around places? Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Just got an email from Domino's. No thanks, I haven't had Domino's in a very, very long time. What? Cower in fear from me. Scum. Look at all that XP. Hello, Parvati. Where are we getting hit from? Not good stuff. Oh, a necklace. Nice. We're almost... We might almost be there. Corporate trooper. Before we go on... Oh, they have these shotguns. Uh, ever since I well, used the first shotgun and it almost killed me, I haven't been really inclined to use it. Ooh, the vermin too. Uh, that might be better than what that is, but I'm going to keep using this N-ray damage gun for now. Terminal. Unseal the door. Thank you. Chairman Rockwell. Well, look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. I had heard you'd taken a mechanic under your wing. What's the matter, girl? Couldn't find actual employment? The captain's treated me right. Better than any of you bored folk ever have. I'm exactly where I want to be. Did she change her hair color? And the convict. Uh, the vicar. You know, most people, once they're out of prison, don't seem keen on returning. Oh, I would go anywhere to see you fall, sir. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Hey, I'm an actor, man. Uh, I presume you're Chairman Rockwell? My word. 
You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. It's a wonder what Phineas saw in you. Then again, he's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. Um, he would rather die than cooperate. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. All right. Saving the frozen colonists you gave up on? Oh, yes. Go on. Wake them up. Add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? I believe we could ask you the same. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. I wouldn't have to have to if you'd be more co cooperative about this. Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton dissent. We don't need your help. Um, I'm going to get your administration's cooperation one way or another. You are a captain of action. I'll give you that. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive... Oh, I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. Good. Maybe some good can come out of you after all. Just wait for me. Cool. That was unnecessarily easily to convince him. Servant of adhesive notes. Terminal, messages, cameras, Akan's orders. Cameras, bringing a VIP in for internment. We have on our head. Eh, don't really need to do that. Take him down. Yeah, take him down. Can you please stand still? Thank you. Oh, okay. I, well, I told you to stay there. I don't know what your problem was, but... Uh, okay, well, whatever. Yep, there goes Vicar Max. And things on fire. There you go. Well, I was hoping to help out the chairman, but you know what? Oh, well. Let's go on up. You just wanted to fight me so badly. Cower in fear before you die. Body, you haven't taken that. Okay, now you're taking quite a bit of damage. There you go, poor body. Oh. Excuse me, I'd like to loot first before I move on. Very nice. I love the XP. Oh, it's MSI soldiers, okay. Whew. Nearly started shooting at them too. That makes one of us. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. Words cannot express the extent of my disappointment. We had a plan. All you had to do was skip the hope to Tartarus, as I asked. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. 
You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. We're liberating Halcyon, right? Um, it's over, Sophia. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm aware of your diplomatic talents, Captain. You have a gift for manipulation, but I warn you, I'm no easy mark. For all your talents, you are the enemy of Halcyon, and therefore you are my enemy. I'm here for Phineas, Phineas and just let him go. Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Here's my rebuttal. No. Dr. Wells is being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove invaluable, even if I have to beat it out of him. All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business of saving this colony. You realize I'm helping everybody by killing a lot of people, right? It's bad for your health, Sophia. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of you. You were one of my finest agents once. I don't want to destroy you. Turn yourself in, and I may yet show clemency. Um, let's talk about it. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. All right, this is where the Persuade 100 comes in. You don't want to die on Tartarus. Just walk away. Interesting that you think I'm going to die here. I believe I'm more than capable of taking you on. Nothing stopped me so far. Fair point. I don't know how you've managed to defy the odds. By every reasonable estimate, you should be dead. Yet here you stand. I've devoted my entire life to protecting Halcyon. I'm not afraid to die in the line of duty. It's not worth dying for. There isn't much of a board left, thanks to you. You've thrown this system into disarray. Cleaning up your mess will be the work of a lifetime. You were always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. God dang it. 90, and science? Jesus, I need more science. Um, enough talk, let's tell us. I destroyed your experiments in the Ministry. Your plans are never gonna work. Yes, I'm quite aware of your brazen act of corporate vandalism. By the way, those test subjects you killed? They died in agony. My scientists assure me they can recover the data you've destroyed. You've succeeded in temporarily delaying our research. Nothing more. Uh, your scientists are lying to you. Their research is critically flawed. That isn't true. It can't be. You're trying to manipulate me. That experiment was absolutely essential to the program. My scientists assured me they were close to a breakthrough. They gave me their word. Uh, you know I'm right. I can see it in your eyes. Damn you. You are telling the truth. My scientists have been lying to me, and I was stupid enough to trust them at their word. We're going to have to start all over again. All that research, all those experiments, you've set us back decades. I haven't given up on the program yet. You've caused some complications, but I can improvise. I can fix this. I haven't lost control of the labyrinth yet. Our security system is still operational. I can still put a stop to you. Well, I left a lot of corpses behind me, Sophia. You sure want you want to be next? When you put it that way, no. Not in the least. Damn it all. Very well. You win. I'm familiar enough with your methods to realize my chances of survival are low. Congratulations, Captain. You've outplayed me. I accept your terms and will return Dr. Wells to your care. Wow. Hurry up. Thank you. I just hope you've made the right decision. The fate of the colony is in your hands now. I bid you farewell, Captain. Um, okay, well, alright, not bad, not bad, let's see how far we can get with this. This might be the final video, I don't know. I know this video's going on at like at least around 50 minutes so far, but let's see where we end up with this.
All right, very nice, very nice. Where'd she go? Sophia's key. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Hello. Uh oh. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You must have said something to get under Akande's skin. She's gone, and I don't think she's coming back. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind, and I can't begin to thank you enough. Are you all right? What they do to you? I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. All right, great. I would like nothing more than to celebrate this victory, but we have a serious problem on our hands. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. First the food supply, and now this. That's it. I'm done. There is no plan, just random chaos. You're experiencing a crisis of faith, creature. Don't worry. That just means you're paying attention. You mean... we're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Sounds like fun. We got a lot of work ahead of us, though. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? No, I'm too busy. Someone's got to run the colony. I'm the only competent person left. When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. Sounds like a good teacher. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? Oh. Uh-oh. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. 
Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Sanjar's civil liberties and worker-centric policies were slow to catch on with the other corporations. But as Halcyon began its long, arduous journey toward recovery, many of Terra 2's smaller townships started adopting MSI's alternative corporate structure and eventually became entirely self-sufficient. In the coming years, many of these townships managed to eke by, where otherwise they might have starved. Sublight Salvage adapted to the changes in Halcyon, shifting their business model to suit the times. Their claims of legitimacy were scrutinized, but ultimately unquestioned. Lilia Hagen would continue to protect her family as ruthlessly as ever. Over the years, the ruins of Edgewater caused irreversible environmental damage to the landscape of Emerald Vale, owing largely to the presence of toxic compounds in the town's building materials. As for Edgewater's former workers, their remains provided a source of nourishment for the region's fauna, leading to an explosion in the Spratt population. Under the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Ellie savored her adventures on the unreliable. Once they were done, she returned to life as usual, running missions of dubious legality, shunning respectable work, and living life to the fullest. She meant to reach out to her one-time captain, but she was always bad at keeping in touch. After all he'd seen and heard adventuring with you, the vicar Maximilian de Soto renounced his faith and joined the effort to rebuild the colony. Ironically, he finally found the joy that had eluded him over the course of his life and realized that perhaps he was always meant to be just a simple laborer after all. He quickly dismissed the idea. Hmm. Though Parvati eventually grew comfortable aboard the Unreliable, she never quite came out of her shell. She seemed to prefer the company of Ada to the crew, and she could often be found neck deep in cables and grease, telling Ada funny stories from her childhood. While the colony fell into chaos, she found an island of relative peace with Ada, and they formed an unusual bond. She decided to remain aboard the Unreliable permanently as its chief and sole engineer. As hard as she tried to drink them away, Nyoka's memories eventually overcame her. Traveling with the crew served as a constant reminder of the family she'd lost, and so she eventually returned to Monarch to get back to what she found most comfortable, the deep end of a bottle and the far end of a trail. Few have seen her since, but travelers often swear they hear her and her machine gun in the night, screaming swears and spitting bullets. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. <laughs> Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, 
He threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. It was widely suspected that Sophia Akande was the true power behind Chairman Rockwell. However, after the riots on Tartarus, she was never again seen in the colony. Various theories circulated as to her fate. Some believed she boarded an interstellar ship capable of journeying to a distant colony. Others believe she died trying to escape Tartarus. Some few suggest she fled to Monarch, where she continued to live among a small band of loyalists. There is another theory, which suggests that Sophia's encounter with you changed her, and she deliberately retreated from public view, but continued supporting the colony in secret. When Dr. Wells began reviving the Hope's colonists, he found himself with a sudden windfall of additional supplies and resources courtesy of an anonymous donor. If Wells knew who his supplier was, he never told a soul. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to the new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Hmm. All right. So I guess that's the outer world. I wasn't expecting to finish the game already, but you know, I guess I did. Cool. Um. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Well, I guess getting persuasion to 100 was worth it to talk away adjutant Akande, but yeah, overall The Outer Worlds was a really fun game quite fun, um not really much what else to say uh, would I recommend The Outer Worlds to anybody? Well, if you like RPGs, definitely especially with more story-driven RPGs and with dialogue options if you're interested in that stuff, totally get The Outer Worlds, if you can't buy it immediately always wait for a sale, of course um I don't ever buy anything else that's on sale, pretty much. But, other than that, I, I had a lot of fun with this campaign. It was a ton of fun. This was probably my second Obsidian game I played. I played, obviously, Fallout New Vegas, which is coming soon on my channel. Soon enough. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. Um, I'm not sure what to do about the credits here. Not really much I can do about it. And I want to give, you know, recognition to everyone that worked here, but, uh... I guess, for the most part, that's pretty much it for this campaign. I hope you've stuck around with this the entire campaign. If you haven't, oh well. If you have, great. Um, other than that, well, like I said, I hope you enjoy the campaign. I know I did. It brings me hope that Obsidian 
still has the talent to produce a great game. And who knows, maybe they'll have a sequel, some DLC, I don't know. But I know for one thing that this game is going to come back on this channel sometime. Not sure when, but sometime. But anyways, well, I guess until then, uh, thank you very much for watching this entire campaign or just this episode. If you did, maybe leave a like. I'll leave a comment below telling me what, what you think might come next, I don't know. Doing double uploads a day is pretty difficult. Subscribe, I guess, if you're new to this channel. Uh, check out my Discord link below. And I'm going to let the credits roll until pretty much they're over. So, with that in mind, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in whatever video I do next. Have a great day, guys.